Welcome to our exploration of developmental psychology in the 2024-25 AP Psychology course. Today we'll focus on topic 3.2, physical development across the lifespan, specifically from early childhood to adolescence. Understanding how our bodies grow and change during these formative years is crucial. It sets the stage for behaviors, mental processes, and overall well-being. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer picture of key developmental stages and the factors that influence them. So, let's dive in and explore the fascinating journey of physical development from early childhood through adolescence. In Unit 3, we delve into the fascinating world of developmental psychology, focusing on how individuals change and grow over time. This exploration includes understanding the balance between stability and change, which shapes our personalities and cognitive abilities. One of the key areas we'll examine is the nature versus nurture debate. Are our traits predefined by genetics, or are they influenced by our environment? We'll navigate through continuous and discontinuous stages of development, providing insights into how these factors interact to shape who we become. Get ready to explore, learn, and see development from a whole new perspective. Let's cover the key objectives and essential knowledge for this unit. First, we'll explore how physical development before birth is connected to behavior and mental processes. We'll examine the factors in prenatal development that influence major physical and psychological milestones. Lastly, we'll look at physical development in infancy and childhood and its applications to our understanding of behavior and mental processes. Key terms to pay attention to in this unit include teratogens, maternal illnesses, fetal alcohol syndrome, and genetic mutations. You'll also encounter important concepts such as rooting, the visual cliff, critical periods, imprinting, habituation, and maturation. Each of these plays a significant role in physical and psychological development from early childhood to adolescence. Prenatal development is crucial as it sets the stage for future physical and psychological milestones. During this period, many factors come into play that can dramatically shape an individual's development. Teratogens, for example, are substances that cause birth defects, and maternal illnesses or exposure to harmful substances like alcohol can lead to conditions such as fetal alcohol syndrome. Genetic mutations that occur during prenatal development can also significantly impact both physical and psychological outcomes. Understanding these factors helps us to comprehend the intricate beginnings of human life and how early influences affect long-term development. Let's delve deeper into the elements that play a role in this vital developmental stage. During infancy and childhood, significant physical developments occur that set the stage for later growth. Gross motor skills, such as crawling and walking, are major milestones that indicate advancing muscle control and coordination. Infant reflexes like rooting, which helps babies find nourishment, are essential for survival and will gradually diminish as voluntary actions take their place. Depth perception, essential for understanding spatial relationships, begins developing early. The visual cliff experiment shows that infants can perceive depth, highlighting their growing perceptual abilities. These physical changes are fundamental, providing the foundation for cognitive and social development that happens later in life. Understanding these elements gives us a clearer picture of the dynamic changes during these early years. Sensitive and critical periods are key times in development when specific experiences have a significant impact. A sensitive period is a time when the brain is especially receptive to learning new skills, like language learning in early childhood. Critical periods, on the other hand, are narrower windows during which certain abilities must develop, or they might not develop properly at all. For instance, there is a critical period for vision development. If an infant doesn't receive proper visual stimulation during this time, their ability to see could be permanently impaired. Understanding these periods helps us ensure that vital experiences and supports are provided at the right time, laying a strong foundation for lifelong development. Let's define some key terms related to prenatal development. Teratogens are substances that can cause birth defects and exposure to them during pregnancy can lead to significant developmental issues. Maternal illnesses, like certain infections, can also impact prenatal development, sometimes resulting in severe conditions for the child. 
Next, we have fetal alcohol syndrome, a severe disorder caused by alcohol consumption during pregnancy. This syndrome can lead to physical abnormalities and cognitive difficulties. Lastly, genetic mutations can occur spontaneously or due to environmental factors, affecting both physical and psychological milestones. Understanding these key terms is crucial for grasping the complexities of prenatal development. Infant reflexes are foundational to understanding early development. The rooting reflex, for instance, helps an infant find nourishment by turning their head toward a touch on the cheek. Another critical experiment, the visual cliff, demonstrates how infants develop depth perception, a key milestone in physical development. Now let's dive into habituation. This process reveals how infants respond to repeated stimuli over time, providing insights into their learning and cognitive growth. By studying these natural responses, we gain vital knowledge about how babies interact with and learn from their surroundings from a very young age. Understanding these concepts helps us appreciate the complexity of human development. For example, recognizing the impact of teratogens can inform public health policies, leading to safer environments for pregnant individuals. By knowing about critical periods, educators can create optimal learning experiences that align with developmental milestones. Additionally, the study of maturation aids in understanding the natural progression of both physical and psychological development. These insights have tangible applications in areas such as public health and education, demonstrating the real-world relevance of developmental psychology. To wrap up, we've covered key concepts in developmental psychology, focusing on physical development from early childhood to adolescence. We delved into prenatal and early childhood development and how these stages impact behavior and mental processes. Our exploration included essential topics like teratogens, critical periods, and maturation. Understanding these concepts is crucial for appreciating human growth and applying this knowledge in real-world settings, such as public health and education. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AP Psychology content. Stay tuned for more insightful videos. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of developmental psychology.